Okay, good morning, my dear friends. We shall go to the 12th standard accountancy portion from today onwards. And the first unit in the book 12th standard accountancy is accounts from incomplete records. When there is a term incomplete records, automatically you will have known about the complete records. What about the complete record mean? Complete records we have seen in some other name that is otherwise called double entry system. And the double entry system we have taken into consideration all aspects of transactions. Whereas under this heading there is only one aspect of every transaction is attended to. So it is an incomplete one, that is why it is called accounts from incomplete records. And what does it mean actually? Why should we call this as incomplete records? Actually, as I said earlier, for every transaction, there are two aspects. If those two aspects are attended to, are recorded, then we call it as double entry system. But under this chapter, what is done is, only one aspect is recorded. Either the debit aspect or the credit aspect. So we call it accounts from incomplete records. In this chapter, either we try to pass the debit aspect or the credit aspect. Say for example, there are three types of accounts we have seen in 11th standard. One, personal account. Number two, real account. Number three, nominal account. Out of these three accounts, it is a very big question mark now whether all the three accounts are attended to or not. Yes, as the name indicates that all the three accounts are not attended to, only the personal accounts and the cash accounts are attended to. So it is an incomplete preparation of accounts. That is why we call it accounts from incomplete records. So by using this type of preparing the accounts, what we can gain and what we are losing it in the preparation. Naturally, this system is not a scientific one. I taught you in 11th standard itself why the double entry system is called a scientific and complete system. In science, everything is proved. Everything has some kind of evidence. The matter to be proved, the points to be proved, the idea to be proved, the principles to be proved. But in case of this type of accounts from incomplete records, here we don't have any evidence. Just by having or just by collecting the information, these kinds of accounts are prepared, therefore naturally it is not a scientific one, it is not a complete one. This is coming under the teacher's nature. As I said earlier, there are three types of accounts which is followed in double entry system, personal, real and nominal. But in this chapter, what are the accounts considered for the preparation of accounts? One, the personal, fully. Number two, cash account only. And the, the other two accounts, nominal and real accounts are completely omitted. So, the accounts maintained under 
this incomplete records are only cash account and personal account in double entry system we have seen already in 11th standard whatever the type of transaction it is we have both the aspects debit and the credit and for the debit a corresponding credit for the credit there is a corresponding debit here but what these types of accounts are saying what these types of accounts do actually what all essential that if debit aspect is essential they will record it if credit aspect is essential they will record only credit transactions then is is there any uniformity whereas in double entry system we follow uniformly for every transaction we pass entries or we record the entries both for debit and the credit aspects here if debit is essential they follow the debit they record the debit if the credit is essential they record the credit transactions only so here there is no uniformity and there is a lack in this that so we are saying it is lack of uniformity under the heading features number 3 in double entry system we have already seen we have prepared the table we have prepared the ledger and after that we have prepared the trial balance after preparing the trial balance we go to the final accounts we prepare trading account profit and loss account and the balance sheet which we call otherwise financial statements since there is no garden since there is no ledger since there is no trial balance since there is no preparation of final accounts there is no possibilities of preparing financial statements under this chapter even if some kind of accounts are prepared they will not be true and the fact something is lacking in it it is not in complete shape in the case okay then we shall pass on to the types of accounts followed in different types of businesses we know the accounts are prepared for various purposes legally once the accounts are prepared it will be verified by the auditors once the accounts are prepared it will be verified by the government various departments once the accounts are prepared we can find easily the profit or loss accurately then avoiding all these things avoiding all these things there is a british officer does he or should he prepare the accounts under complete records no there is a shopkeeper in the corner of the street there is a small vendor vegetable vendor milk vendor and a different types of people in our walks of various walks of life should they prepare the accounts properly to submit the same for the verification of the accounts in the various departments of government no it is not necessary in that case what we have to do what should be their intention to do their intention is to know the profit or loss of their business so what they must to do they should follow certain rules and the lab comes to their help this incomplete what they will see they will find the amount of amount spent for the purchase 
and the amount earned through sales and the other expenses made and what is the total profit that they have earned. And for that purpose, they follow incomplete records and this is suitable only for small traders, not the businesses run in very big volume or in large scale. And we come to the last features of this incomplete records. What we do, there are two different types of transactions in case of purchase itself. One case is the purchase of goods for personal use. The other case, the purchase of goods for the purpose of selling it again. We have seen it in level standard itself. What is the main purpose of buying the goods for personal use or for our consumption? Okay. In that case, what should be the journal entry there if it is purchased for personal use? Drawings, account, data to purchase as account. We have seen it in 11th standard. If the same, the same case is for the business, what entry we should make or pass? We should pass the entries purchases account data to cash account if it is a cash purchase purchases account data to bank account if it is if the amount is paid in terms of or through bank mode if the goods are purchased on credit basis what we will write purchases account data to the Credit as accounts. Credit as accounts. Say for example, Somo's account. He write purchases account data to Somo account. This is what he wants to do in balance standard. But here, the goods purchased for personal use is treated as the goods purchased for business. The goods purchased for business is treated as the goods purchased for personal use and therefore both the things are mixed up and because of that there is no use and because of that the accounts will not be a complete one in that case it is not a proper way of preparing the accounts and then getting incomplete records. Dear students, we have seen already what is the meaning of incomplete records and what are its features. We shall continue now the limitations. Limitations in other words we can say drawbacks. What are the drawbacks because of preparing this type of incomplete records accounts we shall see now. And uh, I should come back when I go to the first limitation, the double entry system records, what are actually maintained. Under double entry system, journal is maintained, ledger is maintained, and from those records, trial balance is prepared and from the summary of the trial balance we can prepare the final accounts say trading account, profit and loss account and the balance sheet here no such records are maintained we get some information for the preparation of accounts to know the profit and loss and with the available information we find it so, there are no such records which are actually maintained under double entry system, so we call it lack of proper maintenance of records. Just now I said when and how the trial balance is prepared. The basic need, 
the basic requirement for the preparation of trial balance is the preparation of journal from the journal we should prepare later. Without those two, we cannot prepare the trial balance. Okay. All these records are available in incomplete records of preparing account. Just to think of it. Are we preparing journal and lecture under incomplete records? No. Then how is it possible to prepare the trial balance? And why should we prepare the trial balance? That is the next case under this drawback limitations. Why should we? Only if we prepare the trial balance, we can find the accuracy, accuracy of arithmetical accuracy. You have seen it in the standard edition. We will guess whether the accounts are properly maintained or not. Only after preparing the trial balance, only if we get the same total under the debit and the credit. If you don't get it, we will guess something has happened in the preparation of account. Some mistake has been made in the preparation of account. Yes, so under this incomplete records, the trial balance is not easily prepared. There are some difficulties which we will see it when we are doing the problems. How to find the profit in proper way? That also we will see in the next I should repeat once again, I don't have any other way to say. We prepare journal, letter, trial balance. From the trial balance we prepare the trading account profit and loss account and the balance sheets. The first three cases, journal, ledger and the trial balance, we go to the preparation of final account. The first part of the final account is trading account. Under the trading account, we find the gross profit or gross loss. Then we go to the second stage. Under profit and loss account, we prepare net profit or net loss and these things are obtained by preparing those final accounts that is under the heading trading and profit and loss account. So we can find the actual profit. What is the profit earned by the business? Gross profit. And after spending the other expenses, what is the actual final profit we earned? Otherwise, we call the net profit. All these things can be obtained under double A system only. Otherwise, we call it if we prepare the accounts under complete records. But under this incomplete records, it is not easy to ascertain. It is not easy to find out the true profit of the business. Another one, it is very important one. Nowadays, we can find the business people go for the borrowings from different banks and the financial institutions. What is the main document they will have to submit? You know, I told you when I was teaching in 11th standard, the very important document they expect from us is the balance sheet. Only by going through the balance sheet, the people or the financial people or the people, those who are the authority to grant loans for the applicant or the borrower will verify first the balance sheet and which shows the assets and the liabilities of the business. The second thing, whether 
the borrower has the capability to repay the amount if any amount is sanctioned in the name of loan all these capabilities are verified only through the balance sheet which should be submitted by the borrower and this balance sheet is the statement which shows the financial position of the business of course this balance sheet is prepared only under wnd system otherwise called the accounts prepared under complete records but what happens in incomplete records we don't prepare the balance sheet instead we prepare the statement of affairs and that statement of affairs only shows the capital of the business which it does not show the financial position of the business it would be very difficult to find under what position the business is run what is the soundness of the business how far the business is okay in the name of or in case of finance and therefore under this incomplete records preparation of accounts it is not easy to ascertain the financial position and you should understand the terms here given difficulty difficulty in preparation difficulty in finding the profit difficulty in ascertaining the financial position you should understand that that it doesn't mean you cannot find you cannot find but there are some difficulties in finding this or in the preparation of trial balance in finding the profit in finding the financial position it doesn't mean it cannot be done so naturally when the trial balance is prepared when the trial balance is prepared the total of the debit column and the credit column should be equal because in it in eleven standard under the chapter trial balance in which you will be very much interested because of the easiness or scoring marks in scoring marks you will find it here yeah, an interesting one the chapter okay if the two columns are not tally if we don't get both the total cigarettes what we can smell that that there is a mistake there is a mistake in the preparation of so we will find it a easily so there is some mistake where it is it may be in the preparation of yarn there may be some mistake in the preparation of letter whatever it is totally we can say there are some mistakes do not many there may be a few mistakes because the total of the two columns are not tallying each other so we can verify and we can come to the conclusion and we should check the accounts but here under incomplete records these cases are not possible we cannot find where the mistake is because we don't prepare journal because we don't prepare ledger and therefore we cannot detect the mistakes of that even if some mistakes are done it cannot be detected so easily so this is a very big drawback or limitation when the accounts are prepared under incomplete records yes there are twin purposes in the preparation of accounts what are they what are the twin purposes one 
JV businessman may like to or will like to find the profit of his own business. That is not there. And the government has an eye on your business. Whether the business is run with complete records, whether the records, complete records are available in the business or not. So, what a businessman will do if it is in large scale, they will maintain as usual, they have done like their private balance and uh, the year end or the financial year end, they will prepare the final accounts. And because of that, that account, the financial position will be known to the government. The tax authorities will levy tax on the income earned by the businessman. And as I said earlier, the balance sheet can be used for borrowing the money from different financial institutions. For all these purposes, the accounts are prepared and the complete records. Otherwise, double in the system, we can or the borrowers can easily use it for their business development purposes of also. But if the accounts are prepared under incomplete records, it is shown to the financial institutions for the purpose of borrowing. If the accounts are prepared under incomplete records, the same thing is shown to the government for the purpose of calculating the taxes for all these purposes. The people concerned will not accept it. Will not accept it. So, this is not valid for the purpose of submitting it to the government or other borrowing businesses. So, it is a very big drawback if the accounts are prepared under income accounts. Now, we shall pass on to the differences between WMD system and the incomplete records. I said in the beginning of the lesson, these incomplete records are otherwise called the single entry system. So, we can find the differences between double entry system and the single entry system. How the transactions are recorded under double entry system and single entry system. Under double entry system, one aspect of the transaction only is recorded. Whereas, under double entry system, both the aspects of the transactions are recorded. Whereas, under single entry system, only one aspect of the accounts are or transactions are recorded. It may be either debit or the credit, which is required for the business people they will record. So this is coming under recording of the transactions. I said in the beginning of this class itself, there are three types of account, personal account, real account and the nominal account. Under WMP system, all these three types of accounts are followed. Whether it is purchase or sales, whether it is expenses or income, whether it is regarding the assets or liabilities, whatever it is. All the transactions are brought under these three accounts called personal, real and nominal account and all those three accounts are used under WLP system wherever it is necessary. But in case of single entry, otherwise called incomplete records, we, we pass entries only the transactions connected with the personal accounts, the transactions connected with the cash only. Only for these two purposes, the accounts are recorded, the transactions are recorded under single entry system or incomplete records. 
and where or when it is preferred what it is preferred the trial balance is preferred how though the accounts used under the WFA system are personal account, real account and the nominal account in case of incomplete records and the single entry system, the accounts used are only the personal account and the cash account. In case of preparing the trial balance under complete records, under double entry system only, we prepare the trial balance after the preparation of journal and lecture. But in case of single entry system, when the accounts are prepared under incomplete records, there is no such opportunity of preparing the journal and the ledger and there is no question of preparing the trial balance. So, the possibility of preparing trial balance under incomplete records is eliminated. We have seen already what we do what we have seen in 11th standard under the heading double entry system, we prepared journal, we prepared letter, we prepared trial balance. After preparing all these three, from the trial balance at the end, we go to the final accounts. The first part of the final accounts is a trading account from which we find the gross profit or gross loss, as we said earlier. From the preparation of profit and loss account, we find the net profit or net loss and finally, we can all the business people can come to the conclusion how much they have earned or how much they have lost. But in case of incomplete records or under single entry system, is it possible? No. No, it cannot be done. Even if some kind of profit or loss is found out, so what we are going to do under the problems, we are going to see, we are going to see definitely in the next class. We can find the profit or loss and we cannot say they are accurate. Only the approximate profit or loss can be determined under the complete record system or in single entry system. So, the preparation of or determination of true profit or loss is not possible under incomplete records. We said it just now, when I was teaching the features which comes under the third, I mean fourth point, financial statement may not represent true and fair view and under the limitations, under the point, point number three and the four, difficulty in ascertaining the true profitability of business, difficulty in ascertaining the financial position. And under these two points, we have come to the conclusion this is not easily possible under complete incomplete records. But this is possible only under WMD system because there we prepare trading account, we prepare profit and loss account, we prepare balance sheet and from trading under profit and loss account we can determine the actual profit or loss and from the balance sheet we can determine the financial position of the business. These two cases are possible only under WMD system if the accounts are maintained in complete records. Whereas in case of preparing the accounts under incomplete records, under single entry system, these methods are not followed and therefore the determination of profit or loss or the determination of finding the financial position is not easily possible. And finally, there is an important point. where the incomplete records preparation is useful, where the complete record preparation is useful. 
and in that way how it is suitable for what kind of people, what kind of business they do. If the business is run in small scale, preparing the accounts under double entry system is a tedious task. It needs some data set. It requires some data for the accounts to be prepared. And those data are not available if the accounts are prepared under complete records, under single entry system. Only with those records, the trial balance can be prepared and it will be shown as a proof for the business transactions of what all done in the business. And this is not, in, not possible in case of small traders and this is possible only for the business people, those who are running the business in large scale. So for the small traders, accounts prepared under incomplete records and single entity system is sufficient. Whereas for the big businessman, the businessman who is running the business in large scale, they must prepare the accounts only under double entry system or using the complete records. So for small scale business, the single entry system of preparing accounts is useful, whereas for the large scale business, preparing the accounts under double entry system is possible. And which is useful or which is reliable? We have seen it already. The double entry system is a scientific and a complete system, whereas the single entry system or the accounts prepared under incomplete records is unscientific and incomplete. Why they are using that scientific and complete, unscientific and not complete? So, only if the rules are used properly, if the accounting principles are used properly, then the accounts will be acceptable. The accounts will be correct by all means. In case of double entry system, the accounting principles are fully used. So, it is a reliable one. In case of single entry system or complete records, this accounting principles are not correctly, exactly used. Wherever it is necessary, they are using it. And because of that, the reliability is a very big question mark in case of incomplete records preparation. For any kind of business, for any kind of business, the preparation of accounts is an essential. If you don't have any kind of records, either under incomplete records method or complete record methods, you must have some kind of records for your business transaction. Without it, if you run the business, it is an illegal one. It is against the law. It is against the rules framed by the government. So, what a businessman must do? The businessman must prepare the accounts either under the method incomplete records or under the method complete records. If the accounts are prepared under incomplete records, there is no accurate profit finding out. No financial position can be found out. Whereas under complete record methods or double entry system of accountings, 
what is happening you know we can find the accurate profit we can find the exact financial position of the business and therefore for levying the tax whether it is professional tax whether it is income tax whether it is some other types of taxes for levying all those things the people concerned the people connected with those fields will accept only the accounts prepared under wb system only not the accounts prepared under income tax accounts these are all certain points of differences between wb system and income tax records of wb system you can find it in your textbook you can go through it so what all at the maximum level possible i have explained them i have brought your notice i have tried to integrate the things in your mind at the maximum level possible now i can bring or i can summarize all those things for convenience i shall try to explain in our mother tongue accounts from incomplete records abingirathu last year nam vandu complete records la paathom adha vandu journal ledger drive balance idella paathom final accounts idella paathom idu paathinga meaning appadina romba surukama ungalku solren idu vandu ore ore aspect mattum panni must be just for calculating roughly the profit or loss idu kandu pidikkaga nam vandu inda method incomplete records method nam use அதுல ஒண்ணு டெபிட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் இல்ல கிரெடிட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் கிரெடிட் ஏதாவது ஒரு மட்டும் நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் அதனால இது ஒரு சைடு மட்டும் இருக்கிறதுனால தான் அந்த சிவில் இன் சிஸ்டம் டேக்கிங் ஆஃப் டேட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் அப்படினு சொல்றோம் இது ஃபுல்லாவே வந்து நம்ம லாஸ்ட் இயர் நான் நடக்கும்போது உங்களுக்கு சொல்லிருக்கேன் ஞாபகம் வந்து நான் பண்ணிக்கிறேன் இது வந்து சயின்டிஃபிக் சிஸ்டம் தான் இந்த சிஸ்டம் ஏன்னா அந்த ப்ரூஃப்லாம் எல்லாரையும் ப்ரூஃப் பண்ணுவோம் ஆனா இதுல வந்து ப்ரூஃப்லாம் தேவை இல்லை ஒரு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கிடைக்கிறத வச்சுட்டு அதை அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரூபர் பண்ணுவாங்க அதனால <laughs> இந்த ஃபைனான்சியல் ஸ்டேட்மென்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் பார்த்தோம்னா அந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் டபுள் ஏ ரிஸ்ட்ரெக்ட் எல்லாம் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுற மாதிரி இதில் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறது கிடையாது இதில் சும்மா வரது வரல என்ன செலவு என்னன்னு பார்த்து அது வந்து லாபத்தை கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்காங்க இதை வந்து பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா சின்ன சின்ன பிஸ்னஸ் மேன் பண்ணுறாங்க அதெல்லாம் அவங்க இன்னும் முடியும் இதில் பிஸ்னஸ் பீப்புள்லாம் பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு குட்ஸை பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ண போடணும் அது பிஸ்னஸ்க்காக பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ணாலும் பர்சனல் யூஸ்க்கு பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ணாலும் ஒரே மாதிரி ட்ரீட் பண்ணி போவாங்க இதில் பட் விச் இஸ் ஷுட் நாட் ட்ரீட் அண்ட் அதெல்லாம் செய்யக்கூடாது அதெல்லாம் செய்யக்கூடாது ஆனால் அதை செய்கிறாங்க அதனால தான் இதை வந்து பர்சனலையும் பிஸ்னஸ் கான்ட்ராக்ட்லேயும் ஒன்றா மிங்கிள் பண்ணிடுறாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொல்கிறாங்க இதில் சில ட்ராபேக்ஸ் இருக்குது பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா இந்த டபுள் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் யூஸ் பண்ணுற மாதிரி எல்லா ரெக்கார்ட்ஸும் யூஸ் பண்ணுறது கிடையாது மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுறதும் கிடையாது அப்படி அது மெயின்டைன் பண்ணாததுனால என்ன ஆகுது அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் ஜேர்னல் எடுத்து இருந்தாதனால நிறைய பேர் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ண முடியாது அதனால் வந்து சரியான ப்ராஃபிட் என்னென்னோ அக்யூரேட்டாக கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியாது ஃபினான்ஷியல் பொசிஷன் தெரியணும் அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணணும் அந்த பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட்டும் இந்த இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் மெத்தட்டை ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறது கிடையாது அப்படி இந்த ட்ரைவ் பேலன்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணாதனால அதில் என்னென்ன மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இருக்குது அந்த ஏரர் ப்ராடெல்லாம் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறது ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் அது இல்லாமல் இந்த மாதிரி அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணால் ஒரு இந்த டேக்ஸ் லெவி பண்ணும்போதும் இந்த மாதிரி இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸில் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸை ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணி வச்சிங்கன்னா இதை தீர்ப்பு போடுவாங்க நீ கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸில் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணி எடுத்துக்குவாங்க டபுள் இன்ஸ்டல் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அதனால தான் இட் இஸ் நாட் அக்செப்டபுள் டு த கவர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் அதர் அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அப்படி பார்க்கும்போது இதில் உங்களுடைய டிஃபரன்சஸ் என்னென்ன அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன் ரெக்கார்ட் பண்ணும்பொழுதும் இதில் ஒன்று டெபிட்டில் ரெக்கார்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க இல்லை கிரெடிட்டில் ரெக்கார்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க ஆனால் டபுள் இன்ஸ்டல் ரெண்டுமே ரெக்கார்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க அதுதான் ஃபஸ்ட்டு டிஃபரன்ஸ் செகண்ட் ஒன் வந்து அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ்னு பார்க்கும்பொழுதும் சிங்கிள் இன்ஸ்டத்தில் அதாவது இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸில் பர்சனல் அக்கௌண்ட்டும் கேஷ் அக்கௌண்ட்டும் மட்டும்தான் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுவாங்க 
ஆனால் இதில் வந்து டபுள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் பர்சனல் ட்ரீயல் நாம் என்ன மூணு அக்கௌண்ட்டும் ப்ரிஃபர் பண்ணுவாங்க சிங்கிள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் ட்ரையல் பேலன்ஸ்னு ஒன்று ப்ரிஃபர் பண்ணுறதே கிடையாது இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் மெத்தடில் பட் கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட் மெத்தட்ஸில் டபுள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் ட்ரையல் பேலன்ஸ்னு ஒன்று ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறோம் அது நம்ம லாஸ்ட் இயரை பார்த்துருக்கோம் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இதில் நம்ம வந்து இந்த ஃபைனல் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறதுனால ப்ராஃபிட் ஆர் லாஸ் வந்து டபுள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் கண்டுபிடிச்சிடலாம் கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட் மெத்தட்ஸில் பட் இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட் மெத்தட்ஸில் சிங்கிள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் இந்த ப்ராஃபிட் ஆர் லாஸ் வந்து கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியாது பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட்டை ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணாததுனால இந்த ஃபினான்ஷியல் பொசிஷனையும் நம்ம கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியாது சிங்கிள் இந்த ஷீட்டில் பட் டபுள் இந்த விஷயத்தில் இது வந்து இந்த கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் மெத்தட் வந்து சூட்டபிள் ஃபார் ஆல் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிஸ்னஸஸ் பட் இந்த சிங்கிள் இயர் சிஸ்டம் அதாவது இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் மெத்தட் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸை ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணலாம் அது வந்து ஸ்மால் ட்ரேடர்ஸ் சின்ன பிஸ்னஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அவங்களுக்கு தான் அது யூஸ் ஆகும் இதனுடைய நம்பகத்தன்மை ரிலையபிலிட்டினு என்னென்னா இது வந்து நீங்கள் இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸில் பண்ணுனீங்கன்னா அது வந்து அவ்வளோ தூரம் அக்யூரேட்டாக இருக்குதுன்னு சொல்ல முடியாது பட் டபுள் இயர்பி சிஸ்டம் கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸில் பண்ணிங்கன்னா அது மோர் ரிலேபிள் ரொம்ப நம்பகத்தன்மை உடையது அதாவது இந்த மாதிரி அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் வந்து எந்த ஒரு அத்தாரிட்டியும் லீகல் ரீட்டும் அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிக்க மாட்டாங்க இன்கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸாக இருந்தால் பட் கம்ப்ளீட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸாக இருந்தால் டெஃபினட்டாக அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிக்கோம் வித் திஸ் இஸ் ஸ்டாப் இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் விட் ஷால் ஸ்டார்ட் டூயிங் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ்